So imagine you wake up one morning and go to turn your computer on and suddenly you're met with this screen and you have no idea what it is or what to do. And unfortunately, it happens to a lot of people. It's called BitLocker and it's supposed to be there to protect the data on your computer. But if you don't even know you have it, how in the world are you supposed to get around it? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Hey guys, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for over 30 years and on this channel, I do Windows tips, tricks, troubleshooting, reviews, all kinds of stuff. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, make sure you stick around. Also, one of the things that I do is help guide you guys. If you're looking to purchase a new computer and you're not sure what to get, there's a link in the description. Fill out a quick form and I will personally guide you to the right computer that fits your budget. So what is this sorcery? What is this blue screen thing? It's not the typical Windows blue screen. Well, that's because it's not. It's called BitLocker. It is a security feature designed by Microsoft to protect the data on your computer. It's really designed for business laptops primarily that might have customer data on it. If you are traveling, for example, and you lose your laptop or somehow it gets stolen and somebody tries to get the drive out of it, BitLocker is designed to protect that customer information. But it doesn't just have to be for business computers, it can be your personal computer. And as I'll show you today, it absolutely can happen. It's happened three times in the last six months. As you can see here, this is a client machine that got bit locked, encrypted, and the client had no idea what it is. And unfortunately, they don't have the key. And sadly, if you don't have that key backed up, which you probably didn't even know you needed, everything on your computer is gone. There is no known way to get past that BitLocker screen without that 48 digit key. And I think that's why it's so important that I have this conversation with you today, because those three computers that have been BitLock encrypted, the customer had no knowledge. They didn't know anything about it. They never got prompted to save a key or anything like that. So one of the things I'm going to do today is show you how to check and see if you have BitLocker encryption enabled. If you have it, how to turn it on and off, how to save that 48 digit key and how it can possibly install itself, even if you have it disabled. So first of all, Microsoft says the BitLocker encryption is on Windows 10 and 11 Pro editions and enterprise versions. So in other words, if you have a Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition, you theoretically should not have BitLocker. And that's kind of true. But guess what? That laptop that I just showed you has Windows 10 Home on it. And as you can plainly see, that's got BitLocker. But it's not. Let me explain. Now, I have done a ton of research on BitLocker, and the one thing that I've absolutely found is that no two people will agree that there's any set of rules. What Microsoft says and what other support pages say are completely different. So I'm going to kind of just give you the general overall, here's what you need to know without you having to go dig and dig and dig, because I promise you it'll melt your brain. So again, Microsoft says that BitLocker is on 10 and 11 Pro Edition or Enterprise, and it is not on Home Edition. But here's the catch. The BitLocker program, if you will, is on the Pro version. In other words, it's an option where you can go into your Windows settings and type it in and turn it on and off and manage your settings that way. But what they don't tell you is that Windows 10 and 11 Home Editions do have what they call device encryption. And basically all that is, is think of it as like BitLocker Lite. In other words, it is on your computer. It is, it may or may not be encrypting your drive, but it is designed to protect your computer in case of theft or loss or something like that. And that's what happened to this particular computer. There was a Windows update change or a BIOS update or something along those lines. And then the client turned the computer on and got this screen. She never got prompted to save any kind of BitLocker key. She said she's never seen anything that said anything about BitLocker or encryption or anything. So the long and short of it is, just like these three computers in the last six months that I've seen, it can happen at any time. Now again, I'm gonna show you in a minute how to go and check to see if you have BitLocker enabled. And if you have a home machine and are not connected to a Microsoft account, you're probably okay. In those cases, I would absolutely at least tell you, just in case something like this happens, make sure you have your data backed up because I promise you the second a bad Windows update happens or a BIOS update or something like that, and you get this BitLocker screen, you can't take it to a repair shop. They can't fix it. There's no way. I have consulted with other IT professionals who are way more knowledgeable about this than I am, and they all say, once you get triggered with BitLocker, you're, you're dead. You're done. So 
if you use a local account, you did not sign in with a Microsoft account when you first got your computer, which is what most of us do, that will generally trigger the BitLocker uh, function that allows for encryption and may or may not have the option to turn it on and off. The people that need to be most concerned are the ones using Windows 10 or 11 uh, Pro Edition or Enterprise Edition and when they first set up their computer, they automatically connected to their Microsoft account. Now, Microsoft says that when you do that, your BitLocker key will be stored on your Microsoft account. But in this case, which they used a Microsoft account to log in, that's what they set it up originally. But because it's Windows 10 Home, it was not automatically updated on their Microsoft account because we went and looked and it's not there. It's kind of weird because it's like there's this encryption technology on your computer that you can't turn off because it doesn't technically exist, except it kind of exists if something happens. It's the craziest thing in the world. Now, it was designed to protect your computer, but if you do use a Windows Pro or Enterprise version and you don't have that key backed up, it can be your absolute worst nightmare. Have you found yourself stuck with a non-working or possibly pirated copy of Windows? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, KeysFan, you can be up and running again and 100% legal in about 10 minutes for less than $10. An unactivated copy of Windows prevents you from personalizing your computer. And if you want to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 now or down the road, you're going to need an authentic product key to do that. Use code AYCG50 to get 50% off Windows 10 or Windows 11 licenses. Use code AYCG62 to get 62% off Office 2019 or 2021. The purchase process could not be simpler. Simply search for the version of Windows or Office that you're looking for, add it to your cart, make sure you apply your coupon code, and within 10 minutes you'll have an email sent to you with a new product code. Go to your email and select the product key, go to Windows Activation Settings, type or paste your product key, click Next, then Activate, and you're done. So before making this video, I wanted to be absolutely certain that the home edition of Windows 10 or 11 could not have BitLocker enabled somehow, even though you use a Microsoft account. So I just went ahead and installed Windows 10 on here. I did a fresh install and I went through the regular process of connecting to my Microsoft account. And then of course I went to the settings and searched for BitLocker. Didn't see anything there did a search for encryption, didn't see anything in there. And also another easy way to tell if you have BitLocker enabled is if this icon right here has a little padlock on it, that will tell you that it's an encrypted. And in this case, it's a Windows 10 machine and apparently I don't have BitLocker on here. And so I also wanted to check the Windows 11 as well. So I wiped that and installed Windows 11, connected it to my Microsoft account, just like I did with the Windows 10 machine. And same as before, I will go into the settings and no results for BitLocker and no results for drive encryption. So on these Windows 10 and 11 home computers, I seem to be good to go. No padlocks. BitLocker is not enabled. Now, by comparison, I've got another computer with Windows 11 Pro Edition on it, as you can see right here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have BitLocker enabled or at least on the system. So if you go into your settings and you type in BitLocker, you'll see now that you have the option to manage BitLocker. If you click on that, you will see the status. And in this case, it's off. But in order to back up the key, you have to turn it on. In this case, when you do the drive encryption, you have three choices here. The first one is to save to your Microsoft account. I would absolutely recommend doing that, especially if you have logged in with your Microsoft account when you set up your computer. It should automatically be attached to your Microsoft account, but I have seen it where it does not. So there's two other options that I would absolutely recommend. The second one here, in addition to saving it to your Microsoft account, is to click save to a file. And that will give you the opportunity to save that uh, BitLocker key to a file on your computer. Now, you don't want to save it on the computer's hard drive because if you need it, you can't get to it because it's behind the BitLocker screen. So what you want to do is probably put it on a flash drive or something like that. Keep it off the computer and that way you'll have that recovery key that you can enter if you get that BitLocker screen. The other option here is to print the recovery key. And just like it says, it will absolutely just physically print on a piece of paper. It is a 48 digit key. 
you can, if you don't want to trust your flash drive or anything like that, take this piece of paper and put it in a safe somewhere where it won't get damaged. Then you'll just have to type in those characters if you get that BitLocker warning. So in this case, choose at least two of those options. I'm going to show you real quick when you go to your Microsoft account, how to get that key from that account. Okay, so I've logged into my Microsoft account and I'm going to scroll down to devices. And this right here is the machine that has the Windows 11 Pro with BitLocker and the one that I just backed up to. When you click on view details, you will see BitLocker data protection and then you're just going to click manage recovery keys right there in that same section. So what's going to happen is, is if you chose that first option to back up to your Microsoft account, you should see that recovery key right here. I would not 100% trust that Microsoft is going to store that key, but if you want to go check your Microsoft account and see if the key is there, that's usually fine. It, from what I understand that they don't delete the keys, but you want to make sure that it's at least backed up there. But again, I would probably still put it on a flash drive or probably the best course of action would be to put it on a piece of paper. So what does all this mean for the average person? Well, let me kind of break it down a little bit. Again, Microsoft says you have to have the pro version of Windows to actually have the BitLocker program, but the BitLocker program is built on device encryption and it's just basically called something else, but it's called BitLocker in the pro version, but just device encryption on a home edition. So you need to be aware of that. Microsoft says this can only activate when you log into a Windows account or a Microsoft account when you first set up your computer. Now, I have tried on a machine that had a local account and then tried to add a Microsoft account and it didn't give me the option to save the key or anything like that. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But if you first signed up with a Microsoft account, like every other person that gets a brand new computer does, and it's a pro edition, I can guarantee you, you're going to have BitLocker. So when you go into the settings, go into manage BitLocker, turn it on so you can back up the recovery key. If you want to leave it on, no big deal. Your Windows process will work like it always does. You just boot up and it's all going to be transparent. But in those situations where there is some kind of serious change, you might need that key. And again, most people have no idea that this even exists. So logically, you want to take a couple minutes, go look at your computer. And if you have BitLocker enabled, get that key and then turn it off or leave it on. It's entirely up to you, but at least now you know. Now, as I said before, backing up your data is absolutely critical, regardless of what version of Windows you have. So if you need to do that, I made a great video right over here that shows you exactly how to go and back up your important stuff so that if, in fact, you get a BitLocker notification, you're good to go. You've got all your stuff. So I hope that video was helpful for you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've had any BitLocker issues in the past. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.